I wonder what this 85% cacao chocolate means to you. Is it a treat before sleep? Is it something you'd never want to touch? Or is it the golden ticket of your dreams? It is 5 p.m. So it could be time for high tea, but not where I come from. I've got coconut milk in here. It's perfect. Because for me, I just got a check for over 2,000 pounds. Today, I got a great surprise in the post. It's my £2,000 ticket to whatever I want to do. The reason I know it's a £2,000 ticket because it's got the email of the lawyer who's sending me the cheque for the accident that nearly killed me. And that's exactly why I'm getting compensation. And in fact, it should be a lot more than £2,000 because the BMW which knocked the car that hit me, which took me 50 metres, it, it could have all been fatal and it really wasn't my fault you know it really wasn't my fault in fact if you come along with me i'll show you exactly what happened so tracking back exactly three years ago this october i came out of this station i'd have come to here i'd have turned left and i'd walk down the hill and to make it really clear, I do wear headphones, but then I, w I was wearing none. Yeah, there's, there's no bus. I would sometimes take the E2, two stops, to take me slightly closer to home, but there was, there was nothing, was there? So I just walked. I walked all the way. Just make it clear, this is Northfields Avenue, and then at this point, this very point, I look right because here's the zebra crossing, and I turn. I look right and left, and then a Vauxhall stops right at the pedestrian crossing, and I decide to move on across the crossing. But then everything goes slow motion, and then I get pulled up by the Vauxhall. The Vauxhall stops here, the BMW rams it from the back. And then that voxel goes over the speed bump and I'm directly in the middle of the speed bump and then I get taken all the way and get chucked here. If you look carefully, the pedestrian crossing has a speed bump. This thankfully took a lot of force out of the impact, otherwise it really could have been fatal. And then I'm crossing the pedestrian crossing. I'm about halfway there. This car, all of a sudden, I'm looking down at my feet. It's, it's been a tiring day. I'm just ready to go home and fall asleep. And the car just comes slow-mo. I'm looking down and I don't even know what's happening. And the car just kind of engulfs my legs. And then the next second, all I remember is just being chucked onto the pavement with my ass and my left leg hitting the ground first thing. I stand up, I realise it's like at least 30, 40 metres I've been taken. And then I kind of track back, then I see there's a Mercedes that's just rammed the living day life out of the Vauxhall. Looking back at it, it was crazy because the Vauxhall, his back was completely crushed. It had to be written off. Whereas the Mercedes, which caused the whole problem, I mean, you could not tell anything happened to it. They clearly build those cars like tanks. And that Vauxhall is really sad because a pensioner was driving it. And I mean, his wife just died and he was just so shaken up by everything, you know, more than me even like. What I found out later was the guy in the Vauxhall, he had his handbrake up, which makes sense because he stopped me at the pedestrian crossing. But it makes me think what would have happened if that handbrake wasn't on? 
track back maybe 10 minutes later it was really hard as a bit of a blur it was just all a blur everything was a blur a few witnesses decided to stop so they could just explain what they saw a police car came and we called an ambulance the ambulance didn't come because i wasn't dying straight up i was able to move actually at the time with all the adrenaline pumping through me there was no pain my leg, I had a bruised leg, I had torn trousers, even my boxes were torn, that's how bad it was. But then I went to A&E the next day, because about half an hour after the accident, when the adrenaline had already gone, I mean my leg has stiffened up so much that I was cobbling actually for at least a month after. My back, the back pain actually got really bad. So much so that I had two months of physiotherapy for my back afterwards. For a few months after, I couldn't walk, I couldn't cycle much. Let's just open it and see what's in here. Oh, oh, it's a bit more than 2,000. I enclose a check in the sum of 2,246 pounds from the third party insurers. And this note now concludes your claim for losses arising as a result of the accident. I really wanted the guy never to drive a car again, to be honest. I, I wasn't in a good way and it was a really wasn't my fault. I was crossing the pedestrian crossing when I had right of way. May we take the opportunity in thanking you for instructing Legal Solutions Partnership and should you require any assistance in the future, please do not hesitate to contact us. Baby. This could really help me out. I got so many ideas floating in my head that even I'm not sure, but this won't go to waste. I'm not gonna show you the details, but check, check. But you know what? I've, everything comes good. And I really see that with this. The insurance money at the moment is really gonna help me to get to where I want to get to. And if you guys can leave me some comments on what you guys would suggest for me to spend my £2,000 on. I'm thinking maybe an educational trip abroad to learn about health wellness. I'm also thinking about other ways that I can kind of break the matrix that is city life, but also just to do something that's really worthwhile. What would you do if you just got £2,250-odd tomorrow? What would you do? I might just spend it all in the charity shop, you know. I could get a lot of stuff for that. But how many clothes do you realistically need? Apart from this amazing top, which I got for 50p. But now, I'm getting five pound overdraft fines the last couple of days. So I'm gonna have to run to the bank, it's 10 to four. The bank closes at five. So stay tuned, peace out guys.